few days ago, I went down to a little pond that's within walking distance of uh, our condo and got a sample of water and included a dead leaf that was floating on the surface, brought it home and put a drop under the microscope to see what I could see. Not a lot of, uh, not a lot of small critters uh, visible at first, but on fragments of the leaf, I saw a few vorticella. Uh, always thought they were one of the one of the prettiest of the microorganisms. And I was looking at uh, a couple of them, and I saw one that wasn't opening up. Uh, you couldn't see the cilia beating. Uh, looking around a little further, I saw just to the right of uh, the one that was not opening, I saw another one, what appeared to be another one, and then I saw some little, uh, some little object uh, attached to it that appeared to have cilia beating. And I thought, well, what the heck is that? Uh, my very first thought was, well, is that, is that a daughter cell? Is it cell division? Is it, uh, is it splitting off another cell? And then I remembered, no, you know, I, I had seen Vorticella uh, undergoing cell division. I had seen uh, a daughter cell uh, developing cilia and getting ready to, to take off from the original cell and uh, go on its merry way. And in fact, I had made a video of that. And here's a, a little segment of that video. And you can see that the cell that is getting ready to leave has developed uh, cilia that it's going to use to transport itself around in the water. And you can also see that it's about the same size as the original cell. I mean, it, it has undergone a longitudinal cell division. And so, you know, you've got two cells on the same stalk about the same size, and there the one leaves. And uh, what I'm seeing here in this recent sample of pond water, there's the uh, vorticella uh, cell on its stalk, but here's this little guy uh, with what appears to be rapidly moving cilia that's attached to it near uh, near the base of the uh, of the uh, original cell. So what's that? I didn't know. And I started looking around uh, on the internet under uh, topics like vorticella uh, reproduction and vorticella daughter cell and similar uh, search topics. And I ran across this illustration showing what looked like the, the item I was seeing, which is number six in this illustration. And the uh, caption under the illustration indicated that this was a conjugation with a microzoid. Uh, never heard of that, never seen that, and I'm not sure that that's what I'm looking at here, what we're looking at in this clip. But at any rate, I began to wonder if it would uh, end up being an example of, of conjugation. And as I read up on it, uh, I noticed that um, the little fellow was called a microzoid, and that during conjugation, it eventually merges with the original cell. Uh, and then there are all kinds of complicated things that go on with the macronucleus and the micronucleus. All of that a bit beyond my comprehension at the moment. So I thought, well, maybe this little guy uh, 
had to be something different because it didn't merge. And as we can see, it eventually uh, takes off in a blur of, of uh, movement. So was this a microzoid trying to conjugate and probably terribly frustrated by something that uh, interrupted its efforts? Or was it something else? I guess I'm going to have to leave that to the experts out there because uh, I'm not sure at all from what I'm seeing and what I saw just exactly what this was.